Think you know everything about the storyline feature in TUW9? I bet you'll learn something new in the next few minutes. Default storylines are set to Wrestler A vs Wrestler B, or Team A vs Team B. You have a minimum number of storylines required, which is outlined at the top of the screen in the storyline section. Here are three other ways that can really change the dynamic of your booking. Number one, contender ranking systems. Have your champions in default single or tag team storylines. The rest of your contenders will be in a single storyline where you can imagine they are in a ranking system, similar to how ROH did in the past and AEW did at their start. This works in the game for your TV booking. If you have eight contenders in a storyline, they are going to get boosted when in matches together. Stopping the major matches will be penalised if they don't have an associated story. You can get round this by having someone appear at ringside, commentary or run-ins, but that annoys the hell out of me. You can imagine your commentary team developing their goals of becoming champion, climbing the rankings. This will work better for big companies such as AEW and WWE, but could work for smaller companies. Number 2. Developing future stars. This one might be obvious, but it works like a charm. Having two veteran workers feuding and bringing in a new worker who needs building up in skills, popularity or both to team with them and help develop those young studs. Having them in tag matches, learning skills from the veterans, singles matches, youngster versus veteran and being involved in angles, improving their charisma, acting and microphone skills. Being around the veterans should give them a boost in popularity. If you are a big company and get in TV and pay-per-view exposure in front of more viewers, this will automatically give popularity to a certain level. I believe it's in the region of 30 to 40 before the cap stops. When they are ready, they can get wins over people with more popularity to help them rise up that roster. Here's a tip. If you have a wrestler with great potential but they suck in the ring, don't worry. If you need to job them out so they can improve, a quick gimmick change when they're ready will give them a momentum boost back to neutral and they are ready to go good as new. 3. Championship Ranking Systems Similar to the original Contenders ones, however when I use this technique I have four major stars gunning for the championship. Really they are two singles feuds within one singular storyline structure, but I can use them in singles matches against each other or tag matches against other groups and get that much needed match rating boost. You could do 6 or 8 wrestlers in a single storyline depending on the size of your roster. For all these, remember to use your creative energy from your booking team to boost storylines. Boosting gimmicks and workers will also help the storylines. If you have any other ways of using storylines, please share them in the comments below. I really hope you learned something about storylines. At the end of the day, TUW is a single player game. Use it the way you want for your enjoyment and for all your TUW hints, tips and some fun experiments, please check out these videos right here.